Okay, so in today's setup guide, I'm going to be showing you how to very quickly enhance your PlayStation 1 games through DuckStation Emulator. So I'm going to be going through display in enhancement settings and getting you to achieve the very best from your PlayStation 1 collection. Check this one out. <laughs> Okay, before I start today's Duck Station Enhancement Setup Guide, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content. That means you'll get notified every time I release a setup guide, just like this one you're watching today. And it also helps my channel out a lot too. So we're looking at enhancing PlayStation 1 games using the latest release as I record this video with Duck Station. So as an example for this, I'm using Tekken 3, which is of course a very popular game uh, back in the day. And right now, the gameplay you can see, this is default settings. So you're going to see a lot of jagged edges, pixelation, and 4x3 aspect ratio is standard. But we can actually boost this up to make this look really cool. So if we just go into the duck station settings, and I'm going to go down to enhancements. Now the first thing you're going to see is internal resolution scale. Now if you've got a lower end computer, just be mindful that by boosting up internal resolution scale, it's going to start draining your hardware and potentially cause a lot of lag. If we drop down internal resolution scale, we can go up to 4K and beyond. If I turn this on to 4K, we're going to find a noticeable difference. If I just go to close, and back into the gameplay right now, as you can see, jagged edges aren't really there and the image looks actually really cleaned up, really nice. But we can make some further improvements with this too. So let's just go back into settings, down to enhancements. This time I'm going to use texture filtering. So texture filtering almost gives us a slight blur. So it's currently on nearest neighbor. I'm going to put this onto bilinear and if I go to close, And again, just by putting this to bilinear, what this has done is slightly blurred the edges. And if you notice the sky in the background, it looks a little bit more cleaned up with bilinear applied. You've also got the option to clear up your picture too. If you notice that in some PlayStation 1 games using Duck Station, you're going to find wobbles. So if I go to settings, enhancements, right at the bottom just here, you're going to find geometry correction. If you click this on and close, You'll notice in a lot of games that like that wobble is no longer there. Um, I can certainly see it with this game before enabling that just a second ago. The game was very wobbly and it's kind of cleared that up now. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is display. Now at the top just here you're going to find render and this is set to automatic. If you want to try using your graphics card you're going to have to put it onto something like hardware Vulcan for example. In this is then going to open up adapter and from here I can select my graphics card so if I open this so if you ever come across a problem where you get a black screen and your games aren't boot and then normally it's under render normally it's a mixture between Vulkan and OpenGL if we go back to automatic you'll find that the adapter can't be selected anymore but like I did just a minute ago if we go to hardware Vulkan that then unlocks my adapter, which is to use my graphics cards. Next thing I suggest doing under display is enabling VSync. What this does is reduces screen tear. So that's another really good option to take away bits of wobble and yeah, screen tear. Next thing we want to look at is obviously PlayStation 1 games were designed as four by three aspect ratio. Now we can actually change this to say 16 by nine, which is going to give us a widescreen image. As you can see in the background, that's now changing. The problem is, is that when you do this, your games are then going to stretch. And by adding the other enhancement options, those polygons are going to look a little bit more obvious in your games. Now, I find a good thing to do with aspect ratios. Go to custom. This is going to open up just here. And what I can do here is just go up and down and I can actually manually change by doing this. So for now, I'm just going to set this one to 16 by 9. You're also going to find the crop option. If we just change this one, if you take a look with my cursor, 
you've got a lot of blank space just here. If we go to crop and say put this at all borders, this is going to make the game image stand out a bit more. So it's going to take away uh, the borders. We've also got scaling just here. So by using a different scaling option, it's also going to add a little bit of blur to our game. So it's going to take away some pixelation. But I think at this point with the enhancements I've already made, sometimes using too much is going to be a bit overkill. So I'm going to just leave this one to nearest neighbor. So with all those video settings applied, including internal resolution at 4K, this is currently how this is running. And this is in 4x3. So as you can see, a massive notable difference from how I opened up this game to begin with. And if I use the 16 by 9 aspect ratio, like I was saying, if you do apply this, you're going to find that your games are going to be slightly stretched. So this is 16 by 9. And I've also got Medal of Honor here. So obviously this is a very early attempt at a FPS game on a console. If I open up Medal of Honor, so for those of you who know this game, you'll see that there's massive improvements with Medal of Honor just there. If you play this originally, it's very blurry and the dual distance isn't too defined and everything's pretty bad really. So what I'm going to do then is actually show you how this game is supposed to look originally. And that's it for the quick setup guide today to making your PlayStation 1 games look awesome using Duck Station. So like I said at the start, if you like what you see today, hit notification, subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation setup guides like this one you've seen today. Also join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.